Happy Tuesdays, family. I'm Herbless Viola, and it's Tuesdays with Very Wise Alternatives, and we're answering the subscribers' questions. Listen, right now, I want you to subscribe. Yes, subscribe. I'll wait. Just go down, hit the notification. So when you, so I want you to make sure you get my next video because I want to make sure you get the information. I want you to get the Very Wise Alternatives to your health, to your great health and a great life. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button. All right. So today subscribers was asking me, Hey, what should I be taking because of this pandemic, because of the coronavirus, because of COVID? Look, you guys, with this virus, with this coronavirus, it's no joke. It's nothing to play with. You want to make sure that you fortify your lungs. You want to make sure you fortify your body. You want to make sure that you have strong, and I mean strong, immune support. So that's the main reason why I want you to look at what you're taking, look at what you're eating, and make sure you add these supplements in, into your life to make sure that you have good heart, bone, blood, and overall support to combat. Because study shows most of these, you know, help with the prevention of cancer. So you want to make sure that you are, if you do have some of these autoimmune issues you know that your body actually corrects itself your body actually start repairing and start healing and start making sure that your your organs make sure make sure that your 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 organs are correcting itself because the creator have our organs heal itself so if your organs can heal itself you take the correct necessary steps to let your organs heal itself and to reduce and to prevent and to change to get back into the state you was in a healthier state. So that's the main reason why you want to incorporate these several minerals, these several supplements <clears throat> into your body to make sure that your body is doing what it's supposed to do. Your body is going back and correcting the issues, going back and correcting and actually regrowing, regenerating and and correcting the issues that we did to our bodies. So that's the main reason why I want you to incorporate these and these are vital. And I mean vital, vital to your health, your overall health. Look, yes. we all eat different. We, so if we just address the American diet, so if you, if you take and eat the regular diet, I'm not gonna get in specifics, but you know your body, you know what you eat. So if you eat the, American diet, these are vitamins and minerals that you should take no matter what, that you should take on a daily basis. But what you need to do is you need to make sure, now this is critical, you need to make sure that you know what you're deficient in. Now that's the very important thing because what I want you to do, we want to slay our health. Yes, because we want to embrace, you want to embrace your dopeness. That's See? what I want you to do. <laughs> I just want you to do that look. COVID is no joke, so I just want to make sure you're taking care of yourself. And yes, I have my notes, so I want to make sure I give you great detail what you should be taking in. And look, you guys, like you do, you guys, you already know. Let's say you already went to the doctor and you came back and you know what you're deficient in. So these are the areas that you need to make sure. Look, the, 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 the pandemic, it's just, just take it as it's like a strong crazy flu that can turn into pneumonia so you want to make sure that you protect and i mean protect your immune system so the first thing you want to take what i take and it's combined it's combined um not going to show you but i combine it's k2 d3 and it's coq10 and turmeric that's what I take and I have it combined and I have it combined so it's less pills I take. So I just want to make sure that you take your K2. The K2 is definitely for your bones. Look, our bones, we just never know what's depleting out our bones. Look, like when I be telling you how to drink water, a lot of things that happens to our body, you know, we take from our bones. We just 
take all the minerals and we shouldn't we want to make sure that we have enough vitamins and nutrients in the food that we eat to make sure that we have straight strong bones because strong bones and you have some <laughs> some good blood look so for the for the k2 you want to take 200 micrograms so you want to take a 200 mcg when you take k2 yes there's k4 there's other k so vitamin k is very important during this pandemic so just make sure you take vitamin k specifically k2 so just make sure you take that the next is vitamin d you guys already know about the vitamin d the main reason why i got vitamin d3 is because i want to make sure that my bones is, is good my overall immune so you want to make sure your overall immune system is good and we already know vitamin d look vitamin d is critical but we already know it's october and we already know in the month of october to april that's when the sun is at its least and we already know from april to october that's when the sun is is at its best especially us living in the northern states vitamin d is so critical we get our vitamin d i keep telling you guys from the sun so if you can't get out in the sun you definitely need vitamin three but d3 but make sure you get vitamin d period just make sure you take in some type of vitamin D, period. I tell you guys, so critical about the vitamin D. And the reason why you take vitamin K, because vitamin K, without vitamin K, is hard to, to uh, absorb the vitamin D. So the vitamin K actually helps the vitamin D. That's the main reason why I talked about vitamin K first. And you know, you want to have strong bones. So vitamin K and vitamin uh, D, definitely with, with the strong bones su support. And what you got to understand, the reason why I want you in the sun, between October and April, yes, if you can go outside and if you're in a private place, you know, less clothing, the less clothing, the more sun you can absorb. So if you can get out there in, a, in a, some shorts, either in a bathing suit, you know, October through, well, the whole month of October, yes, just make sure you, you know, it all depends on which state you're in. I don't know which state you're in. I'm in Maryland. So I'll try to go out in shorts as less as possible when the sun is at its highest between three and or between noon and five. I'll go out there as much as I can, you know, while the weather is nice. But if you can, you want to stay in the sun as much as possible between October and April. It's very critical that you get the vitamin D because vitamin D is very critical with this COVID, with the pandemic, with the COVID, the, the coronavirus, you need the vitamin D. Vitamin D is very, very important. That's the main vitamin you need. I know we talk about vitamin C, but we all going to talk about vitamin C. But make sure you get in the vitamin D. Di vitamin, vitamin D3 or just vitamin D, you want to make sure you're getting in between 2,000 and between 2,000 and 3,000 IU. Yes. Now, personally, I take... Personally, I take vitamin D, but I take about 250 milligrams, 200, 200 to 350 milligrams because vitamin D, you know, is, you know, it, you don't want to take too much to, to harm you, but that's what I normally take in that ring, but get with your doctor, your doctor, know you, your doctor will prescribe something directly for you. So just make sure you speak, speak to your provider because you know you want to make sure that you're taking recommended for you i have a vitamin d deficiency so i make sure that i go outside every day i don't care i don't go out when it's raining or snowing but i do go out when it's snowing but no matter what i go out and get all the vitamin d because i am low bone i have low bone density i have low bone density so i make sure i correct that and make sure i get my vitamin d that's why i'm always out there Okay, so next I want to make sure I explain to you the CoQ10. Now look, if you're taking any medication, you should be on that CoQ10 no matter what. You want to make sure that you're on that because that is great for heart health. Because look, black women, silent killer, silent killer is heart, heart disease. Look, so we want to make sure that we have that. So it's good for uh, blood it's good for regu regulating your blood sugar. It study shows that prevention of cancer. Um, it reduces migraines. Look, if you look, we already suffer for 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 
um, sluggish, no energy. This is great to reduce migraines. This gives you energy. So this actually helps fatigue. It helps skin issues. It helps brain and lung disease. So we already need to fortify our lungs because of the virus. So this is great to make sure that you have something to help. So all this is is to assist your body because your your american diet and what you're eating you're not getting those nutrients you're not getting those vitamins so these are supplements because of the virus so these are one of the ones that you want to make sure that you have so next is the turmeric you already know turmeric inflammatory and everything else wound support yes so if you got a wound it's great wound support so we already got look i already take it for inflammatory for um inflammation for my pain my joint pain so that's why i make sure i add my turmeric and yes it does have black pepper in there and you look you could take it with coconut milk i know everybody like would you take it with you could take it whatever you want i'd rather take it with some water but if you want take it with some coconut milk coconut milk has that added fat and going back to the vitamin d i'm going to do a separate video to show you exactly how you should be taking that vitamin d I'm just trying to tell you, just want to make sure. Now, my mix already have turmeric in it, but you already know how much turmeric you need to have. You need to take any between 500 and 2,000 mg. So you want to make sure that you take that amount. Next is vitamin A. Of course, vitamin A is critical because vitamin A, it gives you the bone health. It gives you bone support and you definitely need it. Yes, you hear everything I'm talking about your bones because you, you already know your bones. Your bones has the bone marrow. The bones is great for blood health and everything. So vitamin A, we want to support our immune system. Everything's with the immune system. Everything's with the bone and everything is with good health. So um, for vitamin A, you want to make sure men needs to take 900 MCGs. Women needs to take 700 mcgs when you want to take the vitamin a next is vitamin b yes i have it here so i got my q210 i got my um you know it has the vitamin k vitamin d q210 q cq10 i can't keep saying that because it's so funny and then turmeric so i want to make sure i knock that out so next we want to talk about the b complex look b complex we already know with me being a vegan People say, where you get your vitamin, your vitamin B12? Look, that's why I take a vitamin B complex to make sure that I get everything, to make sure I get all the supports. So you want to make sure that um, you're taking your vitamin B. The vitamin B for your red blood cells, for energy, fights infection. And look, you want great cell functions. You want a great cell health. Without them cells, look. We not but big bunch of bacteria cells, and we want to make sure those are great. We want to make sure the free radicals are out, and that's when you add the selenium. The selenium, look, I know some people don't talk about selenium. Add selenium. It's an antioxidant. This great for your your um, immune health. So look, make sure you add it. This is just an added bonus with the selenium. Add the selenium. Look. Selenium is nothing to play with. For the selenium, you just take this with six drops. Six drops of selenium. This is just the added bonus that I want to make sure a lot of people not talk about, that, but this is great. We got free radicals in our bodies that's just tearing us up. We want this because this fight, this just kills them free radicals. <laughs> we want to correct and get them free radicals out. So you add this and this is for bacteria and viruses so you want to get them free radicals out and we want great cell support so make sure you add the selenium so that's an added bonus in there so from the um q10 from the vitamin a the vitamin b and the vitamin c and the vitamin d that's to make sure so you just add the selenium okay next next is vitamin c i know we talked about okay so back with the selenium Want to make sure that I hit all the main babies with the selenium. Selenium is nothing to play with, nothing to sleep on. So, well, yes, because you don't want damaged cells. So you want to make sure you got the, the selenium because you don't want damaged cells. Okay, so vitamin C. We already know why we take vitamin C. Vitamin C, oh my gosh. You should be taking, I know it's 1,000 milligrams per capsules. 
you need to take them throughout the day, like every other hour. Make sure you get up to 3,000 to 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Sometimes I take more, but you know, these would be my Skittles. These would be my uh, go-to because vitamin C is critical. And look, vitamin K, you need vitamin K to absorb vitamin, vitamin D. You need vitamin D to absorb vitamin K C. So I know you like Viola really, yes. Yes, so make sure you got your vitamin C. You already know the great benefits of vitamin C. Vitamin C is great for immune health, great for your immune system. You already know if you do have the virus, you should be doing a vitamin C flush. And we'll talk about that later. That'll be another video. But I want to make sure that y'all taking your vitamin C. You already know vitamin C. Yes, you can get it in so many fruits, but we're talking about actually taking what supplements what minerals we're ta actually talking about what you need to be taking that's the main reason i'm doing this video because the coronavirus this this the covid 19 is nothing is no joke this pandemic is nothing to play with you want to make sure you take these every day that's when you know your levels but you want to take this every day especially if you take a medication recommend it for a little secret with the q2 q210 you need per her medication that's the main reason you take it, so you need to up it. So with the Q10, if you are recommended to take anywhere between 100 to 200 grams each medication you take, you need to up the grams. So if you're taking five medications, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Make sure I'm saying that right. So with the Q10, you need to take, if you take from 100 to 200 grams, so if you don't own no medications, you just take 100 to 200 grams. But if you're on two to three different medications, up to five medications, you add, you add, a, you know, a gram. So if it's 100, you add it. So if you got, uh, if you got um, five medications, so you anyway take to uh, 500 to, a t you know, 1,000 grams so just want to make sure i knock out the q10 because it's very important in a lot of people's own medications i know when you get up in age you got a lot of different medications so i just want to make sure that i'm clear and it will be down in the description below it will be down and you'll actually see a chart to tell you how to take take the take pretty much each one because i want to make sure that i'm clear and make sure you're protecting yourself from this coronavirus from this pandemic and make sure you're safe and even if you have it you have the virus make sure you're taking this every day make sure you you know you're, you're drinking enough water half your body weight half your body weight i go 64 because i want to make sure you're at least taking 64 but at least half your body weight and getting in the sun but the next one i just want to make sure that i get everything the next you want to take is a sleeper now i know not too many people talk about this but it is a sleeper and it's magnesium now magnesium is uh oh my gosh it's a, it's a definitely game changer people sleep on it look i used to suffer from depression anxieties this helps you this helps you magnesium is is like a godsend just gonna put that out there it's like a, 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 a <laughs> like ah <laughs> look you want to make sure that you take your magnesium i look magnesium is best to be taken at night it's best to be taken at night yes magnesium is best to take it at night. i take it in the cream i rub this on the bottom of my feet yes i just take it and rub it on the bottom of my feet you can take a pill form you take, can take a tincture form it's preferably up to you but i just make sure that i take magnesium just to get that it look it puts you in the deepest sleep without it you have muscle cramps irregular sleep you your cognitive health is off this actually helps you especially if you suffer from um, ex any anxiety especially if you suffer from any depression it actually helps it a especially for my you know my people that's surviving ptsd uh, i'm one of them and everybody else that that has some form of ptsd severe ptsd magnesium should be your best friend i mean seriously magnesium be your best friend the great reason why you want to take zinc you ever realize or ever notice that sometimes your taste is off and you you don't smell like you used to i know you're like uh viola what are you talking about some people have problems with a taste they feel like oh i'm getting older my taste buds is different i i i my smell is off sometimes, you know there's this their their taste is off that's the good thing with zinc 
you may have a deficiency in zinc. And same thing with men. Men, sometimes their testosterone, they it's too much estrogen in your body. And it's good to take the zinc. And men, men should take well over 50, at least 50 grams of, of the zinc. And women should take anywhere between 15 to 30. So you, that's why you want to make sure you take zinc. So you guys, I want to make sure that I got everything. So we talked about the K2, D3, Co CoQ10. We talked about vitamin A, B, zinc. We talked about, I mean, zinc. We talked about vitamin C. We talked about selenium. And then we talked about magnesium. So I want to make sure. So magnesium is, is great. It, it, it clearly does over 300 functions to your body. I just want to make sure I add that. Um, just make sure it helps with kidneys. Eliminate some of that, you know, all that, that kidney acid. So this actually uh, uh, aids in that. Um, if you... If you find yourself needing some magnesium, you just need anywhere between 200 to 500 right. milligrams. On my chart, it says for my age, I need about 420. So I'm 53, so I need about 420 milligrams. So there's a chart that shows you exactly how much between a baby all the way up until is the time you die. Yeah, so it gives you a chart to make sure that you have magnesium. Magnesium is a, is a sleeper, you guys, because a lot of people don't know why they suffer from this, why they having these issues like muscle cramps. Why can't I get sleep? You're magnesium deficient. That's the main reason why I said early in the video, you definitely want to make sure that you check and see what your levels are, especially in your body. I know a lot of subscribers was asking about that. I really, I just want to make sure that I put it out and put it out in clear and tell you exactly what you should be taking. But you should be doing this every day. This is what you should be doing every day. Yes, I didn't talk about... Uh, Omega-3. Omega-3 is something that you need to add, but that's specifically on you. Yes, Omega-3. I didn't talk about it, but you should add that as well. Also, you guys, you need to have a probiotic. I'm not going to tell you which probiotic to take because it, it all depends on you. Yes, you sh could take the same one I'm taking, but I want to make sure that you understand your body and look up for yourself which probiotic you need to take. I'll show a couple of slides to show you different, like 2,000 billion and 100 billion. These are organisms that, these are bacterial organisms. These are just pretty much bacteria, live bacteria that you need to incorporate your body because you want to make sure your body's immune and able to fight off all the free radicals. Yes. The body, you look, you guys are bacteria, but you want the good bacteria. Yes, some bad bacteria is good, but... You want the good bacteria to fight off the bad and get it out your life. This just actually boosts your immune system. So that's the main reason why you want to take a probiotic and a prebiotic. So look up for yourself. Uh, yes, it is in foods, but sometimes you need a little bit more. And that's why I take it because everybody needs a little bit more. Well, So that should be one of your regimen. Yes, I will have uh, information at the bottom. I will put these in the description. But look, I don't know if you subscribed earlier, but look, there's going to be other videos coming out today for us about what I take and how to take the vitamin D. But I just want to make sure that I'm clear and just want you to subscribe, share, like, tell everyone, look, this is the stuff, especially my sisters and brothers, this is what you should be taking on a daily basis. And yes, the next video is going to tell just what I take. I take this. I take exactly what this is, but I do take more. So I want to just make sure that you're getting this in. Yes, just want to make sure you get this in. So you guys look happy Tuesday. I'm Herbless Viola. You guys have a great day.